learn the Java Swiss case evolution in three minutes. So to create a simple use case, I have created an enum called week. And in this week enum, you got all seven days of the week. Now I can initialize my enum week and I can assign any day to that. But I'm gonna stick with Monday. Now here goes the requirement. Imagine I have a string variable over here called day type. And I'm gonna assign that to empty. Now what you got to do, if this is Monday, then you have to update this day type variable to weekday. If it is Sunday, then you have to update this to weekend. So let's solve this problem using Swiss case. So I'm gonna write switch, pass in the day, and I'm gonna keep writing my Swiss case. So if it is Sunday, then I'm gonna update the day type variable to weekend. And if it is Monday, then I'll update the day type to weekday. Let's write the use case for rest of the day. So let's print out the day type right now. And let's just see whether the value is up to date based on the day that we have selected. So the expected output is weekday right now for Monday. So let's run our program. And what the heck this is? Why this is printing weekend for Monday? And you got it right. It's a classic Swiss case problem because right here, I haven't written any break. If you're not going to write break after each use case, the follow through will happen and all the statement will be executed. And at last, whatever the statement is, that is going to be your output. So let's just give break for each statement. And let's run our program one more time. And there you go. Right now we're getting the correct output for Monday. But to resolve this problem right now, Java 14 has a solution. You can actually write a arrow mark over here and can actually remove the break. I'll update all of my use case right now accordingly and I will remove all the break. Now this program will simply work fine. Monday is a weekday. So another problem that we have over here, we are going pretty much redundant with our weekdays and weekend. Actually, the Sunday and Saturday are weekend and rest of the day are weekdays. Excellent. But let's do one final improvement using the Java 14 Swiss case expression feature. Now we can assign this entire Swiss case to the data variable and we can remove the data from here. So right now, Sunday and Saturday returns weekend and rest directly return weekdays. If you will test it with Sunday, it works just fine and prints weekend, the Java 14 magic. Now we got one last requirement. If it is weekend, then display party time. So I'll come to this use case and over here I'll activate multi-line. Now it will straight away complain because you have to explicitly write return right now. And the way you have to write it in Swiss case expression by using the yield keyword. And now we can just print party time. And today is Sunday. Let's run our application. And there you go. Party time.